Hello everyone, it's Deirdre with Soliano's Bath and Body Indulgence and today we will be cutting Japanese Cherry Blossom. <sighs> Got that coffee guys. You know how it goes. So, here we go, Japanese Cherry Blossom. This one went quite well. little soft but that's okay. Oh gosh. Okay, you're still good. There it is. And we grab paper towel and this time guys, it's actually in here with me. Ha. Don't have to go that far this time. So I have no idea what we were talking about last. So we can't go there. Um, let's see. The girls are back from camp. They had a great time. Brought back souvenirs. My youngest daughter got to perform with the worship band New Song. That was pretty cool. She said she also got a hug from Holland. That's cool. And unfortunately, Pastor Johnny Hunt, he was unable to make it. He was just a little under the weather. Let me see, make sure we can see that. I like it. So he didn't go, but I think the guy that went in his place was named um, Zane Black. I think that's what it was, what his name was. And the girl said he was awesome. So even though they didn't get, you know, Johnny Hunt didn't make it, it was still an awesome, awesome experience there. So that's cool. I gotta keep stepping over here, guys. I wanna make sure you see it. You probably can't tell too much the lighting, but yeah. We got pink, brown, and white. I kept it simple. I was thinking about the cherry blossom tree, you know, if you look at it. That's basically all there is. You know, pink, brown, and white. And of course, you know. In this business, you know, you can be creative and change up colors just because it's naturally that way, you know. A lot of people like that. You go outside the box. But, yeah, girls had a great time. Went to the beach. It was their first time going to the beach. They liked it. Not so much Panama City, Florida, though. So, I guess if we do a beach trip as a family, it'll have to be another one. Just a second. Oh, goodness. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Now i got to remeasure. Hang on, guys. it beforehand but you know how it goes sometimes
Alright. Measure twice, cut once. Now. Where are we? Okay. And of course, guys, the garden is doing great. You know, come by uh, Facebook. Check out, you know, Soliano's online on Facebook. Also, you know, check out my other photos in there. Also on Instagram. I posted a few pictures last year from the garden last year. That was awesome. But it's doing great. We've got squash coming out of our ears. <laughs> Um, the sunflowers are coming out, the mammoth ones, which you can, you know, harvest the seeds. And the seeds can be eaten by people and the birds. And, you know, if you have livestock, like goats and chickens, they'll eat the sunflower seeds too. But we don't have any of those, not yet anyway. That will be next year. Um, let's see. I spent this morning harvesting some green beans and the uh, oriental yard long beans. Yeah, it's really cool. I had one, I think my longest one was like 24 inches. I was thinking about just letting one go because they do actually get up to 36 inches long, you know, a yard. But they say it's best to harvest them when they're between 12 and 18 inches because, you know, they taste better. There's some that I had out there. Probably made it further than 24 inches. I didn't measure today. But some of them had already. I was like, you know, when they're when they're fresh, they're green, like a green bean. But these that I picked today were white. Like they've been on there too long. Some of them weren't that big. So, you know, that's okay. But it turned white and I harvested the seeds out of them so next year I can grow them again which is really cool because they taste awesome um, I sauteed some up the other day I was gonna cook them just like green beans but well actually I did cook them like green beans the only thing is you don't want to let them go too long So when I made them, they still had a little bit of crunch to them, a little bite, which is really, really good, you know. But I think if you let them go too long, they just get mushy and then they're probably still edible and just doesn't taste as good or maybe. Because, you know, sometimes if something gets overcooked, the taste of it just, just sitting there. Do that and let's see. I got some black eyed peas today. I was gonna let them just stay on and just dry, and then I could store them as a dry bean and cook them, you know, from dry. But some of them were dry, some of them weren't. I just went ahead and pulled them, and I got those put up. Let's see, green beans, oriental yard long beans. Then, um, there's also some, oh goodness, I didn't even see. I had, um, cucumbers hiding out. I picked like four this morning. I've been using, if we don't eat them in a salad, I'll make um, cucumber salad. Now it's not, you know, like my recipe or anything. My husband brought home some cucumber salad one day. I was like, hey, this is pretty good. And it's very, very simple too. You just take cucumber, there you go. You take cucumber and you slice it really thin. And you take some onion and slice that pretty thin. And you mix it together in a bowl with some Italian dressing. And that is really it. Now you can add other stuff to it if you like. This one is so pretty. You can add other stuff to it, but that's just, you know, the basis of it. And it's really good so I've been doing that and then you know you start off and make some in a big bowl and then once you get down to the end of it like hey I still got all this dressing left 
you know what? Just add more cucumbers in the next day. You know, it's, it's better when it sits overnight. Has a chance to marinate, really. Um, but yeah, you just add more cucumbers to it, which, you know, and onions if you need to, and it's really good. Well, let's see what we got here, guys. Here's the last piece. I don't think, yeah, that's small. And that's just the back of it. I don't think I can slice this up, can we? Okay. Well, guys, I don't know what happened there. We're gonna, let's try that again. Probably won't, but that's not a big deal. Nope. I'm not going to cut it. <laughs> Literally. Alright, guys. Well, that's it for today. We will be back soon because I've got... Whew, I don't know how many pounds of soap i got to make, but it's uh, quite a bit. So, we'll be back with you. Remember to... Um, like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to. we greatly appreciate it. Um, also, check us out on Twitter, Instagram, um, Pinterest, let's see, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and YouTube, of course, because that's where this is going. And check out the website, www.handmadestores.com slash Solianos. And... Hmm. I think that's it for now, guys. Take care. Have a great day. God bless.